folks, welcome back to the Age of Asparagus. In this video I'm going to go over some problems you might encounter while playing around with Krita. My hope is that this video will save you some time and frustration. I'm going to cover three things. Why can't I draw? Erasing your background. And where are my tools? So let's start with the first one. Why can't you draw? There are lots of reasons why you might not be able to draw, or paint, or doodle. And here are some of them. First, you may be painting with white paint on a white background. And if that's all you have, you won't see anything. But you are painting, and you can see that as well. If you make your background invisible, you can see the white paint is being added. So the solution there is pick a color. Number two is you might be using a brush that doesn't actually apply paint. So for example, right now I have this Q-tip brush selected, but it's actually a smudge brush. You can see some of the presets they show in the thumbnail, they just show white paint being added. That white paint is an indication that all it does is smudge. So for example, it will affect paint that is already in your scene, but it doesn't add any new paint. So the solution to that is pick a brush that paints. Three, you might not be using the freehand brush tool. You might be on a selection tool and you can't figure out what's going on. So the solution there is in the left on the toolbar is to go back to the freehand brush tool or you can also just hit B on your keyboard to switch back. Four. Okay, I'm on the brush tool now. I'm painting in green with a brush that applies paint. So why aren't I painting now? The answer is these little marching ants here. When you have a selection on your canvas, you can only paint inside that selection. So if you see these marching ants somewhere, that will explain why you can't paint in other areas. However, sometimes you can't tell where these marching ants are. Maybe there's this tiny, tiny little selection you made by accident and you can't see it. So how do you get rid of that? The easiest way is to go up to the select menu and go deselect or control shift A. That will get rid of any selections that you're not sure where they are. Make sure you're on a brush tool, the freehand brush tool, and you can draw. Next, you may not be able to paint if the opacity of your brush has been turned down. Up here at the top, this widget here is the opacity of your brush. That's how transparent your brush is. However, your layer also has an opacity. And if your layer's opacity is down, you won't see it. This is how transparent your layer is. And you will need both to be visible in order for you to see what you're painting. Next, you may be drawing on a layer that is underneath another layer. So if I'm trying to draw some shading on this red splotch, I can't see anything. And that's because I'm drawing on this paint layer that is below the layer that contains my red blotch. If I make my red blotch layer invisible, there's the yellow that I was painting. However, it was underneath the red blotch. So either move that layer you wanted above the red blotch or pick a new layer that is going to be visible. The last two reasons you may not be able to paint. I should be painting in yellow here, right? I have a brush, my opacity is up. Is you may have preserve alpha turned on. If you have preserve alpha turned on, it means you can only paint on that layer where there already are paint pixels. So I can't paint anywhere new. I can only paint where paint already exists. So the solution there is to turn off preserve alpha and now you'll be able to paint again in new areas. Finally, Alpha can also be locked on specific layers, which has the same similar effect to the Preserve Alpha option up in the top toolbar. But this time, it's on a specific layer. So if I remove that lock, I can once again draw anywhere. Okay, on to another problem you might have, which is when you erase, you 
get checkers. Why are there checkers showing up? This occurs when you are actually drawing directly on your background. So when you draw directly on your background or you're editing your background layer, when you go to erase, you're actually erasing the white paper paint that is the background layer. That's why it's recommended that you should always paint on a paint layer above the background and leave the background layer locked and uneditable. This is how a new canvas starts by default in Krita and that will prevent you from erasing your background after you've drawn something. The third problem you might have is what if you've been playing around with Krita and you've accidentally closed things, you moved them around by accident and things are starting to look a little weird somehow you accidentally deleted your toolbox, you don't even have tools anymore, oh what's going on, what is this, why am I animating and you don't know what to do. The solution here is in the top right there's this workspace selector button and if you click it hit default and your workspace will return back to normal. Yay! Krita also has a full screen mode which they call canvas only and you can get to it by hitting the tab button and you hit the tab and then you can zoom in here and you get your full screen as a canvas which is really nice but that can be annoying if you didn't know how you got there and so hit tab again to get out of that. You may also find yourself in full screen mode here and unable to get out of it. Uh, the normal F11 doesn't work here. It's actually control shift F to remove and go back into full screen mode. Also in the view menu you can toggle full screen mode here. And finally, as a kind of Hail Mary, if all else fails and things are going wrong, you're having some problems with your setup, huge lag or things aren't working, you can go into the settings menu here and to configure Krita. And there's a lot of options here for you to tweak. You can go look those up. Probably the main one, which, I, which is kind of the Hail Mary, just see if it fixes things, is turn off OpenGL. There. That'll probably cause you more problems than it'll fix, but if you have tried everything else and you're not sure what to do, that might help you out. Definitely doesn't help me out though, so I'm putting that back. That's all for this one. I hope I save you some future frustration. What happened? Someone set up us the bug. We get signal. What? Main screen turn on. It's you. How are you gentlemen? All your base are belong to us. <laughs>